Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Siri Love Drive here, and today I'm playing the game Warframe. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys how to unlock Sedina Junction in the game Warframe. So to unlock Sedina Junction, there's four things that you've got to do. You've got to defeat a big bad boss named Vea Hack. You've got to defeat five sentient enemies. You've got to collect one Exilus mod from any Orkin principal challenge. And you've got to craft a weapon requiring a mastery rank of five or higher. So let's get to the boss. Vea Hack right here. What you want to do to defeat this boss is you want to drag him down to your level if you can trap him somewhere bring him into some underground area it's going to make things a lot easier and then whenever his face mask is open you can do damage to him now since he is a flying boss that means that it's going to be much better if you can approach this with a bit of a ranged weapon or a ranged warframe something that can do some damage long range if you have a gun you can just shoot him in the face because um you know he's he's not bulletproof when that mask is open otherwise he is just like david Guetta and sia said in their hit no, all right. Um, but yeah, no, he's bulletproof if his mask is closed. So wait till it opens up, do some damage. You're going to be able to kill him. Even if you go at it with just a melee weapon, you can do it. It's just going to take a lot longer. So I'd recommend going in with some ranged weapon. Next up, to defeat five sentient enemies, you want to go to Lua and you want to go to Plato or Plato, however you want to say that. This is going to be the easiest mission to do it. Literally, you're going to jump into this mission and right off the bat, you're going to see this guy. This I think he's called an occultist or something like that. He's going to scan you. Once he has scanned you, he disappears, and in his place, you're going to find some sentient enemies. And they're going to appear just in one second right when I turn around, and here you go. So what these guys are going to do is they are going to do a ton of damage to you. They're super hard to take on, but basically the principle here is that you've got to do a few different types of damage, and you've got to keep coming at them with different damage types. If you have the right type of Warframe, you can stun them and do a lot of damage before they adapt, but if they don't, you're going to end up dying a lot, and it's going to be very hard to take them on, but you can do it. Next up, you've got to you've got to unlock that, um, what is it, Occultist Room? You've got to get the Exiles, Exilus mod. To do that, there's going to be Orokin challenge rooms or Orokin rooms, and what these are is these are, I think there's six rooms that require a bunch of different things to do. This one is probably one of the easiest rooms. You just stand by these little uh, globes, and then they're going to take your energy, and once they've taken enough energy from you, a stairwell is going to open. You can go down and get your mod. Now, there are a few of these different rooms. There are other videos going over each room and how to do it. I'm not going to be doing that in this video, but I do plan to do a, a video on this specifically in the future because this is a very complicated, not very complicated, but if you don't know what you're looking for, it is complicated. These rooms are going to spawn randomly, so you've got to know what each one looks like, and then you've just got to be ready to take it on. Some of them do require a team, but if you don't want to team up with people because you're anti-social like me, you will be able to do it on your own. There are a bunch of rooms that you can do on your own, and then there's one room that you're going to need a team for. So anyways, what's going to happen once you complete that room like you just saw me do? You're going to go here, you're going to claim your mod, and bing, bang, boom, you've done it. Now it's time to go to Sedina Junction. And if you don't know how to craft a mastery rank 5 a weapon or higher, just get a mastery rank of 5 and craft a weapon that requires that. So this boss right here for Sedina Junction is extremely easy. Just beat the shit out of them, and then you're good to go. And just like that, you have unlocked Sedina, Sedina Junction, and it's time to move on to bigger and better things. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. And if you hit the subscribe button, it makes me very happy. It helps my channel out. And if you don't hit that subscribe button, it just makes me sad. So if you want to see a happy cereal box, subscribe. Anyways, until next time. Peace.